We recently examined the Music Thing Radio Music settings file to disable looping functionality, as well as how to format samples for the module. Taking things a step further, several alternative firmwares exist for the Radio Music, which can completely alter the function of the module, but require a different installation procedure than simply switching settings or samples. Radio Music is an open source module based on a Teensy programmable chip. While the original firmware has a number of great features, coders, hackers, and other Eurorack users have altered and created new functionality for the module using freely available software. Many of these alternative firmwares are available online through GitHub, a Wikipedia-like site for code sharing. One user who has created a number of alternative firmware variations is James Carruthers. His five firmware applications each perform different functions, from a dual 808 sample player with the drum machine code, to the CV audio sampler, which can record and play back CV or audio streams. Installing the alt firmware requires the same process as the original firmware. You'll need to power down your case and remove the radio music. Plug a micro USB cable from your computer into the Teensy jack. If you don't have the Teensy loader application, you'll need to install it. Open it with the module connected, and it should prompt you to push the button on the Teensy. Hit the Open button in the application, and select one of the hex files downloaded from GitHub. I'll select the Drum Machine app, and hit the Program arrow. This should only take a second, and then you can reboot the Teensy with the second arrow. You can also use the Auto button to perform both of these actions. I'll disconnect the module and connect it back to the system. I'll refer to the notes, which say the reset input should trigger one drum, the station input should trigger another. I'll connect the output to the mixer, and then two channels from the variegate 4 to the station and reset inputs sequencing some gates. There are a number of other alternative firmwares available. Just be sure to check the documentation for the relevant functionality. You can also build your own application to run on radio music, which we will explore in a future video. How are you using your radio music? Tell us about it in the comments. Thanks for watching and sharing. As always, please like, follow, and subscribe. And remember, catch smarter.